Howdy, my name is Anne McCarthy. I'm a developer relations wrangler at Automatic, and this is the next edition of Connecting the Dots. I'm calling this one Transparency for the Win, and you'll soon see why. So at high level, this is gonna go over duotone filters, the cover block, gradients, and a new transparent option that's part of the duotone filters. It also covers a little bit more, but for now we'll focus on those things at a high level. Just to set the stage, we're gonna jump straight into a demo. So let's put the pieces together and have fun while we're at it. Um, I am just using the Gutenberg plugin from Trunk. So you have to actually use the latest version from the repo, but this will be coming out in future releases expected for 5.9. Also using a block theme, using the TT1 block theme, so make sure you're using that. Otherwise, I'm just opened in a template and have just emptied it out and am gonna mess around with what I can. All right, so for now, I'm gonna add in cover block. I'm just gonna set this to pink background. I'm going to add in another cover block. I'm going to select an image from my library. In this case, it's this cool clock photo I actually took when I was in Paris at a museum. One of my favorite photos. Um, I'll mess around, get it nice and centered, kind of like that. Maybe I actually want um, the height to be a bit larger, so have it be a full display. Let me feel a little bit more. Boom. All right, I like the look of that has a nice pink background around it. So from here, if you haven't messed around with the duotone filters, I highly recommend it. It's pretty cool stuff, all sorts of wild things. This obviously works well with images with high contrast. That's partly what I'm gonna show now. So if I select this duotone filter, what it does is essentially takes this image and makes it two tones, so duo tone. But from there, I can actually change one of the tones, so in this case, the highlight, to be transparent which means it'll pick up on this pink background. So let's watch now, boom. So now I can have this kind of cool effect. I can also do the reverse. So I can also go back here, change it up, um, have it be the shadows instead um, will be transparent. You'll see this other neat kind of effect. Maybe with the highlights, um, I actually want it to be black. So it kind of has this weird and trippy look. So as you can imagine, this actually allows you to do some cool stuff. So in this case, this looks pretty radical. Um, at this point though, what if I wanted to go a step further? So this is where gradients can be really fun to mess with. And you'll see I'm using um, experimental version of Gutenberg. So there's some bugs here, don't mind them. But for now, let's actually look at what would happen if I, let's say set the background here. So you can see, you can get some really cool effects using the gradients. So I really like that look right here. But you might imagine how this could be applied in other ways, including the tech um, underpinning all of this. You could actually have it um, set the contrast, have filters like you see on Instagram and more. Um, tied to this, because Duotone is built into the featured image block, imagine you have a query loop and you have all the featured images with this cool transparent background. Um, I can also do things like um, switch the image out. So in this case, um, you'll see I have another image like this. I can put it in right here and immediately see the effects, which is really cool. You can also do things like change this around, set it up as I want and make sure I get it lined up the way that looks good to me. Um, I can also change around the actual minimum height. So in this case, let's actually have it be 400. I'll then mess around with this a little bit more. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Um, which is pretty neat. So you can see how all these tools, including the dimension controls that I showed and the various things around setting the size, um, dragging around the location and this cool transparent background all work. Um, I can even touch this up a tiny bit. By, let's say I wanted to switch this around. And here I can have the highlights actually be transparent. Boom, very cool. I'll save it. But hopefully this helps give you a sense of some of the cool stuff that's coming just with a minor change in this transparency setting. So just for fun, let's see if I can actually get the gradient to look pretty close to the actual slides I'm using. So in this case, I kind of have something like this. Maybe we'll change the opacity. Um, you can see that gets pretty close. I'll actually move the image child so you can get a full look of it. So you can see just with a few clicks in a very short period of time, I have some pretty radically different looking images that all create a really neat effect that you can use in varying situations, whether it's as the featured image of a site or just a cool cover block that you wanna have in the middle of your post. All right, so that's my demo. Before I go any further, I do wanna give a shout out to both Yoan and Alex. These are the WordPress.org usernames if you wanna go check them out. 
Um, Yoan inspired me to create this video based on some of the designs that he was sharing and the excitement that he had around this. And Alex had been doing a ton of work around the Duotone filter and getting it into Gutenberg and ultimately into Core. They're both rad Core contributors. So if you are interested in seeing more of their work, check out their profiles and dig in. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay connected to me, I'm at Anzazu on WordPress.org Slack, or you can find me at nomad.blog, the contact form there, and I look forward to hearing from you. I hope this helped you connect some dots and I get excited about what's possible. Can't wait to see what you all do.